and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host, Miss Rebecca J. Felgate, although you can call me Mystery Rebecca Jane Felgate. Did that work? Yes or no? I kind of feel like after four years, I'm now just trying to out cringe myself in each video just to shake it up. <laughs> okay, so this is the top 10 insane mysteries solved by 4chan. What a chan. For those of you who don't know, 4chan is a website that has traditionally been associated with the slightly darker side of the internet because users can post anonymously and topics are uncensored. 4chan has brought us gems like chocolate rain and rick rolling, but it has also been used as a hive mind for solving crimes. Before we get into this video, why don't you guys let me know what your favourite meme is? I don't know much about memes until I worked here, but now I'm rolling in them. I actually had to teach my mum about memes recently, and it was quite hilarious. I think she got it, but then I showed her Pepe and she was really confused. Do your parents get memes? Let me know. Also, why don't you leave a thumbs up on this video, and if you want to read more about the topics there are source links in the description box, we can also find links to our most amazing Instagrams. Okay, should we do this? I think we shall. Coming in at number 10, we have Jenna's Justice. Jenna Jameson is a retired adult film star and glamour model turned writer and TV personality. She's been around for many, many years and has garnered quite a few fans, as I'm sure you can imagine. She's worth quite a lot of money and has the luxury of being able to employ a staff. It seems, however, a jilted former employee of Jameson's stole from her and hacked her social media. They hijacked her Instagram and other accounts and began deleting photos. She took to 4chan's B forum and asked for help tracking the person down. She explained that the man may have given her false ID when she hired him. She asked 4chan to go easy on her and not to ask her for nudes in exchange for help, which is fair, right? Sure enough, 4chan found him. They found his address, his driving license number, his social security number, and his credit score, all within an hour. Jenna rewarded the finders with sultry snaps. Of course she did. Good on you. Coming in at number 9, who stood on the lettuce? 4 channel tell you. You know what? People messing with other people's food is actually really, really, really low. Call it a prank, call it what you want, but clearly if you do this kind of thing, you're a bit of a dick. Anyway, in 2012, an anonymous 4chan user uploaded an image of them standing in the serving trays of lettuce at Burger King with their shoes on. They wrote, this is the lettuce you eat at Burger King. Gross. Honestly, I think shoes on is possibly even grosser than bare foot. Discuss. What do you think? Like feet are you know, feet, but shoes carry outside dirt and what if a person had stepped in dog poop or something? Honestly, I certainly wouldn't want to eat at the Burger King that this is happening at and I feel like the standard absolutely needs to be fired. How could this person even be found though? It kind of looks a bit like they're male from their shoe size and kind of clothing, but honestly who can say? So a possible male that works at a Burger King somewhere in the world. Turns out though, you can't mess with the mystery beasts at 4chan. The anonymous user had left the geotag in the image file that they uploaded, which meant that a smart reader was able to find out exactly where the image was posted within minutes. Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Minutes later, another user found the branch of the Burger King. 625 Mayfield Road, Cleveland, Ohio, 44124. There was even a phone number. They wrote, enjoy getting fired, OP. Someone else contacted the news and another user contacted Burger King. Suffice to say, mystery solved. Idiot fired. Okay. Tell grandma here, but what does OP mean? I don't know. I don't know. Coming in at number eight, we have the Chili's Spitting Waitress. This story actually involves a blend of Facebook and 4chan. Now it seems an angry server wrote on Facebook, next time you tip me $5 on a $138 bill, don't even bother coming in because I'll spit in your food and then in your face, you cheap bleep. It seems that 4chan user Jimmy Russell has discovered the woman's identity. Obviously it was her Facebook, so he knew her name, but after some sleuthing, he also found out what brand of chili she worked at. It seems that 4chan users branded together to contact her employer and link them to her post. So I feel like there are two lessons here. One, do tip your server. But two, servers, earn your tips. I guess with the kind of attitude that she was expressing on Facebook there, I'm not sure I would have tipped her at all. Sounds like maybe she was a bit mean. Coming into number seven, we have complex mathematics. I really like to try and exercise my brain by reading books every day because I like words more than numbers. Although the great thing about numbers is that more people understand them worldwide than words.
words. Mathematics is kind of a universal language, and I think that's pretty cool. So basically, there is a math puzzle that mathematicians have been trying to solve for the past 25 years. So the story here involves an anime series called The Melancholy of Harui Sazmaya. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So stick with me here. A 4chan user wanted to know the best order to watch a non linear anime series. They wanted to watch the 14 episodes in every possible order, wondering what the shortest string of episodes would be. Now, one anonymous poster figured out what they had to do, but they accidentally helped puzzle out an issue that mathematicians had been working on since 1993. Now, it's a problem called super permutations. Now, the permutations is the order of a set of numbers, which in this case in the anime was 1 through 14. A super permutation is a rearrangement of those numbers into every possible order that they will go in. When the 4chan solved the puzzle of how to watch the anime, they also helped solve part of a wider puzzle, and mathematicians wanted to credit them for their work, only they didn't know how because it was 4chan and they were anonymous. Ok, so this is where my explanation needs to stop because actually it's pretty long and complicated, but if you are interested in this particular math puzzle, there is a link in the description box down below. Coming into number 6, we have how to make coupons. Honestly, I think I'd be pretty excited if I figured out how to make my own coupons that actually worked. I'm always searching for like Papa John's coupon codes and stuff like that. Coupons are like pretty magic, they get scanned at a till and you just get money off. Good. I never really thought about how they're made though. I never considered it too much, but it seems that actually then 22 year old Lucas Henderson figured it all out. He figured out how to make a bunch of counterfeit coupon codes that actually work to get money off. His mistake here though was that he told the rest of 4chan about it. He even uploaded a 45 page tutorial of how to create these coupon codes. So yeah, the police were notified, he was arrested. <sighs> I've mentioned Papa John's and now all I want is pizza. Can we take like a mid list pizza break? Good? Great. Alright, now we've all got pizza, except me. Coming in at number 5, we have the nasty cat lady. I'm gonna show you something that actually might upset you, but don't worry, it does have a happier ending. So a woman was caught on CCTV stopping to pet a cat. When she looks around, sees that there's no one around, and places the cat in a wheelie bin. Honestly, like, what an unforgivable monster. Who does that? More importantly, who is that? How will we ever find out? 4chan, friends, that's how. So the footage was posted by a man who found his cat Lola in a bin, and he saw the culprit on his personal CCTV outside his house. Idiot woman, she looked around the street to see if there were any people there, and she didn't notice the camera pointed right at her. Now the guy I posted it to YouTube, but somebody else uploaded it to 4chan's B board to help find the culprit. Within hours, she was outed as 45 year old Mary Bale of Coventry. The 4chan has even found her name, address, Facebook, and employers. Ok, this actually isn't a 4chan solved mystery up next because they don't use it in China, but I kind of guess this is the Chinese equivalent and it's relevant. Next up, we have the identity of a kitten stamper at number 4. This is actually truly awful, honestly disgusting. In 2006, in China, a woman was photographed stamping on a kitten whilst wearing stiletto heels. The gruesome images were posted on a 4chan style website, after which the police were notified. After that there was a media frenzy and the website received a lot of hits. Luckily the many eagle eyes and amateur sleuths of the internet were able to identify the location the pictures were taken in. The stretch of water in the background was found to be Hangzhou, which narrowed the search. Eventually the woman was found to be Wang Ju, a nurse who claimed she was depressed. Ooh, coming in at number 3 we have the murder of Amber Lynn Coplin. I mean if you're sick enough to murder an innocent human then I guess you're sick enough to post about it on the internet, so why am I shocked? I don't know. Anyway, on November 4th, 2014, a 4chan user submitted photographs of a dead woman with an online confession. It seems that he was also taunting police. He wrote, Check the news, support Orchard Washington in a few hours. Her son will be home soon. He'll find her, then he'll call the cops. Some 4chaners thought it was fake and even joked about it until, sure enough, a woman matching the images posted was found dead in Kitsap County, Washington, and it was reported on the news. Quickly, police were notified to the 4chan post. Luckily, they had enough evidence to find the culprit, who was David. 
David Kalla. Side note though, in jail he also tried to kill someone, so he just basically sounds like a bad, bad man. I'm glad he's behind bars. The sicko. Okay, this one actually has never been solved and it is utterly horrendous. We have the infamous 4chan serial killer at number two. An anonymous user posted on the site in the mid 2010s claiming to be a serial killer and to have murdered several women. The poster wanted to play a sick guessing game, saying that they would post more pictures of dead girls if users could guess the previous girls' names. Is this? They then posted a picture of a woman who is identified as Shauna Maynard. They posted pictures of her both alive and dead, and lo and behold, she had been missing since 1998. After several posts of their other supposed victims alive and dead, the FBI were contacted. However, the killer has still not yet been found. People of the internet are still poring over the images to try and identify who the other women are. Some people are saying it's a hoax, but honestly, with awful posts on 4chan turning out to be true, it's a mystery that absolutely needs to be solved. Finally, coming into number one, a bit lighter but also extremely mysterious, we have Cicada 3301. Cicada 3301 is a name given to a mysterious organization that has posted puzzles on 4chan to recruit highly intelligent code breakers. On January the 4th, 2012, 2013, and 2014, codes and clues to a wider puzzle were posted on the 4chan site. The puzzle has been hailed as the most elaborate and mysterious of the internet age. It seems that crypto security researcher Joel Erickson solved the first challenge using steganography and an understanding of ancient Mayan numerology. That was a mouthful and also extremely niche. Erickson said that he would receive anonymous phone calls and strange GPS coordinates as he went on solving the puzzles. Unfortunately, he didn't solve the mysteries in time, so he still never found out who or what Cicada is. A lot of people presume that it's the CIA or MI6. Erickson even thinks that some people did solve the mystery and are now out there bound to secrecy. So there we go guys, that was the top 10 insane mysteries solved by 4chan. Do you frequent the site? Have you solved any mysteries lately? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also don't forget to let me know what your favourite meme is. I want to say I love a good meme, I'm new to them but like yeah, give me some I should check out but nothing gross because I don't like gross, I just like puppies. Ooh Doge, I recently found out who Doge was too and like I know it's 2019 so where have I been all my life but like yeah Doge, good lad. Okay, it's time for me to leave so please do leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. If you haven't subscribed to the most amazing channel on the internet yet, then go ahead and do so. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.